Hi guys, how are you? It's Niels here. I hope you can hear me all today, this time. Uh, hi Jimmy, how are you? Hi uh, Ilada, early uh, uh, join us here. Um, I hope you guys are having a wonderful Saturday evening. I'm going to jam some music for you guys tonight again. And I am... Um, Gonna play uh, and tell you some stories from the road. So that was the plan, uh, and tell you what's going on. And uh, hi everybody, uh, please invite some friends. Tell everybody we are on. Share the video. Let's go live and have some fun. Are you guys ready for some music? Hi, Cly. How are you? Miss you. Um, here's our old favorite. Well, one of my uh, top hits, I think, went all the way to number two in no A little thing called Let's Bounce.
Hi everybody, good to see you guys. I hope you guys had a good week. I'm in a good mood today. I'm in a playing kind of mood. Um, I just got my guitar back from uh, an overhaul. I had problems with my pickups for the last, uh, for I don't know how long. It was just a random thing that happened sometimes. So I had to get the whole thing replaced and I'll show you what this thing looks like. Check this out. This is the old one. It was a total mess. It was built in the 80s and had been resoldered, added on, reworked. And so no wonder there were some gremlins in this thing. And uh, so I just got it back and I was worried that the new pickups, which is really the same as the old, uh, uh, I got the same set I had in there before, but I was worried and needed you know after 30 years they might design the pickups differently and how would it change the sound but I think it sounds pretty good um, so um, oh, I see St. Louis in the house hey uh, Kathy Carol I hope you guys are having a great week cheers sir first of all so um, last week before 4th of July mm. I'm thinking what I'm about to do about 4th of July. Um, I'm, I might do a real short show because I have family in town. My daughter is coming in town. So I'm not sure if I can do a full show. Uh, but it will be my first uh, 4th of July as an American. And, you know, chances are I'm going to party too much. So I don't want to get in front of the camera handling all this stuff if I'm, if I'm having too much fun. But we'll see. We'll see. Uh, maybe I, I, I post, but uh, for the very least, I post something. I will get, keep you guys posted. Hey, Clyde, cheers. Uh, there's just like a, uh, I figured this out. There's about a 30 second delay from when I react to something that you guys post. So if you guys see me saying hi to you guys like way, way later, then that, that's why. Um, let's just have another fun song here. Um, this is from my Alley Cat CD. This is a little core song called Two of a Kind. Another little jam to get us in the mood for the weekend, right? Mm. noticed
fun weekend party song, isn't it? I tell you guys, it's so much fun to play with the guitar. When it really, um, um, when it really works the way I want it to work, you know. So, so I'm a happy camper today, <laughs> as you guys can tell. So um, I had announced that I'm going to tell some road stories today. So um, since we're not traveling, um, you know, I can look back at fondness for some of these mishaps we had doing trips but um uh one real quick um and that's a funny one because i used to play um twice a year up in reno little uh, uh little track day it was just like a, a wednesday afternoon party uh that was put on by a little radio station there and it was always fun it was a good thing to go just fly up do the show, sleep, fly back the next day on a Wednesday, easy, and and a lot of fun. So I booked a direct flight um, from LA to um, Reno, and you know when I tell you I come directly to your house, it doesn't mean I'm stopping over at Joe's, but the airline has a different opinion about that. I had since learned there's a difference between a direct and a non-stop flight. So I got on that direct flight and got off when the plane landed and my luggage wasn't there. And once I realized that it was in Oakland and not in Reno, the plane had already left. Um, the next plane wouldn't leave. It was basically a stopover. They stopped in Oakland and then went on to Reno like a bus. And I wasn't used to that. So uh, the next plane wouldn't leave till my show started. My stuff was on the plane. So I called ahead, had somebody go to the airport to pick up my equipment, set it up. I rented a car and drove from Oakland to Reno. I made it uh, like 10 minutes before showtime. I arrived, got off, just put on, on other clothes, got on stage, plugged in and started playing. And one was on these crazy, crazy uh, travel things that, you know, it's like, it's one thing if you get off on the wrong bus stop, but if you get off at the wrong plane stop, that can really mess up your whole day. So, um, but I want to talk to you guys about mm -hmm. the new record, of course. Um, I'm going to dare to play a few songs I have never played before today. Um, this one, though, I played before for you guys once, and um, but people requested it. Hey, Michigan in the house. How are you guys doing? Um, and um, wow, Jimmy Richmond, man, so many good people, good memories. Um, this one is called um, I Like the Way You Do It. It's from the new album 
from the album's called Caught in the Groove. If you haven't checked it out, go to my website uh, uh, and listen. You can listen to it, uh, and if you like it, you can download it, but you can still listen to it, even if you don't buy it. So just go over there and check it out. Um, there's a little kind of R&B influence tune. on the vocals. Together with Johnny Britt. on the wrong button premature ending hey I'll finish it off for you guys
<laughs> oh man actually that little mishap brings up another story um see i'm using um uh, live i'm using sometimes production tracks um basically so i don't have to show up with an eight piece band uh sometimes it's just not practical to travel with that many musicians so i have a second uh, instead of having two keyboard players a rhythm guitar player uh, i might have some of these parts come back uh, from the track that we play along with and i can control these with foot switches so we are not locked in to having to play sometimes some artists play with tracks but they are kind of locked in they cannot go longer and i have a, a, a device the system that i can control this with foot switches and i can solo as long as i want i can you know do whatever we can change the form on the fly and uh, actually i'm going to put a video series about uh, uh, out about that pretty soon um but anyways it's fine sometimes you know i press the wrong button it can happen uh, only human and uh, usually with a band it's not a big trouble because it's just like of course the strings are missing all of a sudden a big deal but um the same system i can also use when we play as a trio and in, in the case of a trio this system is providing drums and bass claudine is going to play keyboard and sing oliver is doing percussion i'm playing guitar there's no bass player the uh, bass player will come from the machine and and probably some drum beats as well so happened to me we did a show in florida in melbourne beautiful place on the beach a great party it was packed and and we go out there and i got really into it and i wanted to switch on to get into the next section to the solo section and press on the uh, wrong button and the music stopped like it just did right now um and and with a trio all of a sudden the bottom falls out half the band is gone so i'm instantly going to okay break down and um uh, we basically just went into like an acoustic unplugged version of the song to finish it off that way uh on the fly without missing a beat you know and and you know that's the good thing about having really good musicians around you they don't get thrown by that kind of stuff so um it was a lot of fun and got everybody into like a chant and singing along with it and all that kind of stuff so you just gotta roll with the punches sometimes you know and and you can't take everything too serious stuff can happen on the road stuff can happen on stage uh all we want to do is good music right um so in that uh, in mind i wish you guys a great saturday cheers mm. i'm enjoying my red wine and uh, let's enjoy some more music this is also from the new record this is called good times are better because i tell you good times are better It's kind of like a title that really works right now, doesn't it? Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Good times are better, aren't they? Um, so where's everybody from tonight? Um, it, it's always fun for me. A lot of times I read after the show, I have dinner and, and I read all the comments from you guys. So please, uh, by all means, leave comments and, and go and, and let me know where you guys are from. It's always fun because we have people from all over the world, believe it or not. Uh, there's some night owls there uh, from Europe even watching the show. And... Um, but it's really nice to see where everybody's tuning in from. It's a whole new platform. I mean, um, you know, uh, I always trying to do the best out of a bad situation. And obviously all of us in a real bad situation. I want you guys to be safe, by the way. Uh, this stuff is not over yet. Uh, we're still uh, California speaking right now. So we got to be really careful. Uh, it's not uh, hopefully, you know, we find something, uh, some kind of a, uh, a vaccine, a cure to get over this. Uh, I can't wait to go back out and, and really play and do shows again. But for the time being, we're doing this, you know, and um, there's a value in this too. I mean, I really enjoy doing these shows. Uh, I mean, my whole show, whole tour got canceled, but I had to really... Oh, Canada in the house, look at that. Virginia. <laughs> now it's coming in. I say there's always a big delay. West Virginia, California, yes, uh, Pittsburgh. So um, now I lost my thread. <laughs> um, but what I'm saying is, uh, um, oh, there's a value in, in I like this format because it's kind of uh, helps me uh, to connect to, to a lot of you guys more, in, even though then, you know, some of the big festivals I'm up on stage and, and maybe you come after the show and, and say hi. But not everybody can, it's, and it's far away. I don't have time really uh, to read a comment and, and, and talk to people. So by all means, um, leave comments. Also, um, if you go up here, you see my uh, nilsguitar.com. That's my uh, website for my fan club. If you want to um, join the fan club, uh, you know, you get a couple of free downloads, you get perks, you get special deals all that kind of stuff and you get a monthly newsletter 
plus once I'm playing again I'm going to tell you guys um, where I will be um, when I'm basically when I'm in your neighborhood because they ask for your zip code so I'm gonna lay another new song now this one I've never played before this is gonna feature Clydeen Jackson and Johnny Britt on, on some incredible vocal stuff uh, it's a very uh, uh, um, tender kind of song from the new record called My Mornings With You and um, I'm a big I love production I'm into sound design and I created like these I had this vision of creating these moving pads with vocals and Clydeen and and Johnny just did this fantastic job creating the, this vision that I had so um, check this out this song is called my mornings with you no that's not my mornings with you that's the wrong song we jumped to the wrong track I gotta find it Bear with me. coming up why are you Here we are. All right, my morning's with you. This time for real.
was fun. Um, and, 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 and I remember when we did that, I had to kind of parlay the idea to, to Clydeen and, and to Johnny. Uh, and they weren't at the same time in the studio. So it was a little bit uh, of uh, uh, a concept that was in my head and it took a while to create this stuff. But I really love how it came out. If you want to check it out, it's on my record. Um, it's 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 the uh, caught in the groove record. Uh, you can uh, check it out on uh, on my website. And um, the other thing, since we since we're not uh, uh, doing any shows, if you guys have the means, please uh, uh, use the connections down there. Or go to nilsmusic.com support and and uh, if you want to throw a little tip that will appreciate it helps me keep this stuff going um, um, I'm um, investing in video gear these days to make this all happen and streaming stuff actually just got a new box I haven't turned it on yet but uh, hopefully with this little thing I will be able to bring this up to the next level hopefully have guests on and do all that kind of stuff um so it's it's a new world out there i'm saying you know we're doing uh we're doing stuff we have never done before but it's uh, a lot of challenges um and talking about challenges playing some of these songs uh, um you know this uh, uh mornings with you is the first time I ever played the song live actually so um i hope you guys dig it and 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 check it out on on the on the new record um there's another song I think I played only once and I got to play it more often. So I'm using this opportunity to um, hopefully not embarrass myself, but to uh, find my ins and outs on this song. You know, we write these tunes and then I produce them, I mix them, they get promoted. And, and it's been like a year and a half since I wrote this song. And then I got to remember, how did I play this? What were the changes again and all that kind of stuff? Mm. <clears throat> the, one, the one thing about the wine is that we have a tradition on the road. Um, you know, Clydeen and Oliver are my crew. They are with me. They're like my core band. Even if I get maybe a pickup um, a rhythm section somewhere, I always like to have them with me on the show. Um, it's a soul thing. We have we have this connection and the one thing we do after each show it's this ritual that we after the show we meet up in the hotel room and and share a glass of wine together and just you know calm down and and talk about how we thought the show went and uh and um and just chill you know and and it kind of helps you down because after the show you still got adrenaline and you're in and there's no way you can just lay down and go to bed and and especially you know the, the it sounds so glamorous being on the road but actually what ends up you know you it's fun on the show and then you end up in a hotel room and you know once you've seen one hotel room they look all the same so so having some friends with me there and being able to share a glass of wine after work is is just a super special treat so cly and oliver i know cly is watching i don't know if oliver is watching so cheers um, I miss that and I hope we can do that soon again, right? Um, this next song um, is also from the new record. It is. Uh, um, it started with a sound design. I came up with this guitar riff and I played it on my old Stratocaster. I showed you guys that last week, that guitar. Um, that's why I called the song Stratmosphere. Um, it's the atmosphere that Strat created. That's where the name came from. Uh, but it's more like uh, it has a little bit, almost like a fusiony, bluesy kind of influence. Um, and I got, I was lucky to get uh, Daryl Jones away from the Rolling Stones to 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 play bass on this track. Um, again, has it features uh, um, also Johnny Britt on, on on keyboards and on some some nice little trumpet uh, flares in there. Um, I like doing this little effect stuff, you know, with with horns and voices and use them like a pad in a way uh, or do something different with it, you know, just to create different set textures than 
rather than using stock sounds from a from a synthesizer keyboard so check this out this is stratmosphere uh, from the record uh, caught in the groove <laughs>
Yeah, it's a fun track. I got to remember it. I forgot the changes halfway through, so excuse me. Um, that's the challenge. But, you know, that, that's good. I, it gives me a chance to play this stuff. I think we have time for one more real quick. Let me see what I want to do tonight. I think I like, feel like playing out of sight. It'll be the last song for tonight. Um, next Saturday, I think I'm going to take a pause. As I said, I have family in town. It's 4th of July weekend. i probably post something. I think that's what I do. A short video, but I'm not going to do a full show. Um, you know, if you need a break one time too, take care of family. I wish you guys, um, if I don't talk to you, a very safe and happy 4th of July. I know this is a crazy one time right now, but we'll do better. in two weeks uh, we have a I have a little short thing next week but not a full show but in two weeks and then every week they're on we're gonna be back we're gonna do this for a long time and hopefully by then I have the stuff together that we're gonna have some guests on um, and uh, make the stuff even more entertaining and interesting for you guys um, if you want to help me out to keep this going uh, there's the, the, the little tip drop connections we have um, we do this every Saturday at 6 p.m. Los Angeles time. I hope you guys stay safe. And if I don't talk to you before, have a wonderful 4th of July weekend, okay? That's gonna be next weekend. Don't start celebrating already this weekend. It's gonna be next week. Because nobody knows what day it is anymore, isn't it?